This is a presentation of Welcome Malala, where we bring you fun and informative videos from within our community. Malala welcomes Danny Lynn Estead from the Malala Fellowship of the Pen, who's going to talk to us about journaling. Hi, I'm Danny from Malala's Fellowship of the Pen. A little bit of history on Fellowship of the Pen. We are a group that started last September that were formed in Malala to support local writers of all levels. So whether you're a beginning writer, or you just dream about it being a writer, or you're a published author, there's a place for you. Also, I serve on the Malala Arts and Culture Committee. Fellowship of the Pen is um, here today, though, to announce a new project that we're trying to do for Malala, and that we hope that all of our Malalians will be involved in. Um, it's called Journal the COVID. It's a program where we would like all of the uh, people in Malala, Colton, Malino, who are interested in journaling their experience during COVID to do that. Now, why would we want you to do that? Well, there's a couple of reasons, actually. The first one is we are living through a historical time. This is the first time this sort of thing has happened that any of us can remember. We have some things to that are close, um, the 1918 Spanish flu, but it was a different time. Nobody then was going home to work um, and homeschool their children at the same time. So there's a couple of reasons um, that for historical, we would like just to know what your personal experience like. Did you continue to work as an essential worker? Were you homeschooling those kids? Were you working from home? Were you unemployed? Are you more at risk and um, are staying home completely? And we'd like you to remember that with history, why things that we take for granted right now will look different in 20, 50, or 100 years. So saying that you went to a Zoom meeting seems pretty common now, but in 100 years, will people know what we were talking about? So we want those experiences and these experiences. Also, because many of you are homeschooling your kids right now, journaling is an excellent writing exercise. It will allow the kids to understand the historical value of this, to practice their writing, and to talk about their own thoughts and feelings. So it's also a great experience for your kids. And I'm really hoping that some of our um, teachers and instructors in our area will take this on as a project for their classrooms. So how to journal. Not everybody's kept a journal. Some of us kept a diary in high school or junior high school and never really looked at it again. But in this experience, we want you to journal in whatever way works most for you. But we want this journaling experience to be an experience that works for you. There are lots and lots of ways to journal. One way you could do is to buy a fancy new journal with pretty faces on the front or nature and just fill those lines with anything that occurs to you. Don't want to get fancy? Plain old notebooks work just great. They're inexpensive and sometimes if you have a fancy journal you're hesitant to write in it. If your handwriting isn't good or you think it won't be good enough, these journals work just as well. Or maybe you're um, the creative sort and you really want something special. You can get things like leather bound journals. This is one I actually use for my travel. Or you can really get creative and make your own. This journal is made of wood, made of wood and um, is unlined paper and added, doc, uh, added pockets to put other things that you might like. Or if writing and writing and writing isn't your favorite thing to do, you could do something like an art journal. And with an art journal, you can do whatever you want inside the pages. You can add words, you can use just art, totally up to you for what that feels good for you. And with that, we also want you to know that we don't just want you to journal unless that's the best part for you. If you want to paint, draw, uh, type on the computer and keep your files on the computer, if you'd like to collect a bunch of memes that represent how you feel about this um, whatever fits for you. We just ask you that if you decided to um, do this and you want to submit your 
documents that at a later time will give you more information on how to submit those kinds of things. All right, and so the next question would be, well, what do I write in my journal? Well, there are lots and lots of things that you can write about in your journal. It could be your daily life. If you look at the journals from our Civil War soldiers or our Oregon pioneers, you'll see that a lot of what they wrote about was rode 25 miles today, horse went lame, it rained, which don't seem like very important things now. But again, remember, people are going to be looking back on these and they won't know those small facts. So write about your daily experience, but also write about how you experienced that day. Did you go to the grocery store? Did you wear a mask? Did you not wear a mask? Are you bothered by the whole idea of masks or do you think they are the most important thing we're doing now? These are your thoughts, your feelings, and your experiences. We want them to be true to what you're feeling and thinking. You're not posting it on Facebook. Nobody is telling you that's the wrong way to think or the right way to think. And honestly, this experience will be lots better in the future if we have opinions from every viewpoint and every side. That's what makes true history, is having a real live account of what happened during the history. There are ways to um, journal where you just do a daily entry based on the date. Personally, I'm actually writing day 42 of this experience or day 43 of this experience, but you could use the date. You could also um, use prompts. Um, there will be two pages that you can get help with writing the journal if you want ideas. The first of those will be uh, Malala Fellowship of the Pen, which is a Facebook page. You can join our group if you're interested in writing as a whole. And one of the things that we will work on there is journaling. The other one is dedicated specifically to journaling the COVID experience in the Malala area. And that one is Malala Journals. So if you are interested in journaling and you want some help, just come to the Malala Fa uh, Journals Facebook page. Again, Malala Journals. There will have uh, lots of hints, people to help you if you get stuck and need ideas. Um, I'll be putting on um, ideas all of the time um, about how to journal, just some great hints and ideas to keep the ideas flowing for you. And also, we will have daily uh, ideas on things to journal. Some may be from books like this, but some may be directly related to the pandemic. For instance, is there something that you were unable to get during the pandemic that you needed? Did you have an experience where someone did something wonderful for you during the pandemic? We want to help you figure out what you want to journal, but to just allow you to journal things that may be important to you. So you've decided to write a journal. You've logged into our Facebook pages, you're ready to go, you've purchased your journal, now what? What happens to this journal once you've written it and you're all done? Well, we'd like to offer several options. The first option is this is just an experience for you. You're gonna write down your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences, and then you're gonna put it away and no one else is ever gonna see it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's still a great experience. The second option is that you would save it and hand it down to your family, to maybe your grandkids or great grandkids are gonna be curious about what grandma or grandpa did during the COVID, or what it was like for um, somebody who was 10 years old to live through something like this. So you can just do that. The third part is the Oregon Historical Society is asking for excerpts from journals. So if there's something that meant a lot to you while you were writing this journal, and you would want to submit that piece or part to the Oregon Historical Society, we can help you with that. We would actually like to donate them as a group. Um, later, we will talk about how to do that. The third thing is to donate your entire journal to the COVID experience. Those would go as a group from Malala to Wisconsin because the Wisconsin Historical Society is the only historical society that's taking in everything. They welcome everything from journals to art, to videos, to newspaper clippings. So whatever you want, we will get those to the Wisconsin Journal. So to do that, there will be a release of information that will come fo following this once we get to the point of collecting journals uh, 
to actually have you agree to exactly what you want to happen with your journal so you know when it leaves your hands what we're going to do with it. Where we collect those and how is yet to follow and honestly it has a lot to do with the number of people who say I want to turn in my journal. If you have questions again you can go to those Facebook pages also, you can email me at malalajournals at gmail.com if you have questions, suggestions, ideas, or opinions. I'd be happy to hear them all. So that concludes my promoting uh, journaling during the pandemic. I really hope that lots of people from Malala, Malino, and Colton will find a way to journal this and to share those journals. Again, if I welcome any kind of input and I want to thank you all for watching this video, for thinking about this idea and in advance for anybody who tries to join us. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for spending time with Welcome Malala. We hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will come back for more and share with your friends.